Yeah, welcome back to the CPU Galaxy channel and a short tutorial about changing the CPU from this condition to that condition. CPU Galaxy. Yeah, the definitely most frustrating thing is when you get a nice vintage CPU for your collection with full scratched ceramic and totally bent pins. Yeah, this is something any collector has to deal with many times. Therefore, I want to show you here a methodology to get this done quickly and with very satisfying result. There are several ideas already around. First possibility of using a propelling pencil to straighten pin by pin. For this you need a lot of patience and at the end it would be very hard to align the pins nicely to each other. To repair one or two pins this is the perfect solution, but not for a CPU in that condition. There must be something better. Second choice could be a small gripper, but at the end you have to straighten also pin by pin. Therefore you won't save any time compared to the pencil and again you need a lot of patience to restore the CPU with this tool. If you have a 4086 in that bad condition, you will end up frustrated, believe me. Yeah, the next tool is the one which makes really fun at the end. A friend of mine had this idea and made one specially for me. Thanks Mike. He took a big gripper and mounted some thin but stable metal pieces to the tip, which extends the gripper nicely to the side. The tip is sharp and thin enough to fit between the pins of the CPU. Just put it in between the first row and straighten up all the pins at once. Easily you go from row to row. After finishing you turn around the CPU at 90 degrees and repeat everything again. After some minutes all pins are perfectly straight and the CPU will fit nicely into a socket. So look at that, isn't this nice and satisfying to see the CPU now with straight pins? Yes, and with this self-made tool it was definitely an easy job. Yeah, this tool works perfectly with all kind of CPUs and chips which have a similar pitch at the pins. 4086, 386, 286, even a common dual inline package can get fixed within seconds. We can try it now here also. So put it on the side, pressing, straightening a bit, bending, so nice, yeah? looks already very nice. It sits so satisfying and easy to do with this self-made tool. And done in some seconds. Yeah, the only collectible ceramic CPUs you cannot fix with this are the Pentium 1 CPUs. They have additional pins in between and the pitch is too narrow for my tool. If you have a convenient solution for Pentium CPUs, please leave a comment below. And now let's put the focus on the ugly scratches on the ceramic. I was wondering how ceramic can get scratched, cause it's harder than any metal. With my microscope I found out that it's just somehow dirt. With a metal you are writing on the ceramic like with a pencil on paper, so I just needed something to clean this nicely. I found a nice polish paste made of Paris white which works great for all ceramic chips. So you just put a bit of it on the surface and take a tissue to rub the scratches away. You need to press strongly and to avoid any further bent pins I stuck the CPU into some form. You just need to take care about white printings, the polish paste would also remove them if you go too much over it. The black markings you don't need to worry about, they are laser engraved. Yeah, at the first look the result looks very good already. For the final finish you just wash the CPU with some bus cleaner and an old toothbrush. This will remove the polish paste nicely from the whole chip. Yeah, and here our final result, a nice shining 386 CPU which looks in almost new condition. Clean, smooth ceramic surface and perfectly straight pins. And at the end it took just some minutes of work. I hope you liked the video and if so, 
please thumbs up and subscribe below. Have a nice day.